that will go nice with my Nolan Ryan box loader. It's a really nice painting. This box guarantees two autographs. We'll see what else we get. Oh, you see right there, there's a Manny Machado. That's awesome. Just nothing. I already have him. Mookie Betts heritage card. Fernando Tatis and Tony Gwynn, Master and Apprentice. I already have that card, but it's a really nice card. Another former MVP, nice. Ooh, Puerto Clemente. Another Roberto Clemente. That's what the pack looks like. I should have shown that from the start. And there's the first autograph poll. Hunter Harvey, a rookie in 2020. I have no idea if he's done anything in the majors. Pitcher for the Orioles. the earliest I've ever found an autograph on in one of these boxes. It's almost always one of the last packs. Jacob deGrom heritage, very nice. Don Mattingly and that judge. Yeah, 
uh, Mary and we had Aaron Judge. I think I have that one too. Bichette Marinardis. This would also be considered a Bo Bichette rookie card. Very nice. I also have his regular rookie card in here for the set. sign with the Mariners when he was a free agent before he went with the Rangers and now he's old as dirt. Luis Robert, that's a solid rookie card. Put that over there. Juan Soto, that's like a little variant on the border. Stan the Man Musial, one of my dad's favorite players. He's a Cardinals fan. This is one of his all-time favorite players, Stan the Man. And Gary Sanchez, solid Yankee. Featuring some of the artists that did the paintings for the set. It's always cool to give them publicity. Daniel Mengden, in my last box, he was one of the autographs I got. Ooh, Tatis Jr., always a good get to get Fernando. This is a modern artist. Is this Acuna? Nope. Ozzy Albies. And another modern artist back to back. You don't see that very often. That's very nice. And that must be the cover boy, Mr. Alonzo. Yep. He's on the cover of the packs and the cover of the box. See, so I wouldn't lie and show you the pack again, Mr. Alonso.
Blake Snell. I already have his card. Marcus Stroman. I think he used to be on the A's. And they don't show their previous years. They just show the month by month. Gotten a few Houston Astros rookie cards. Max Scherzer. Mad Max. Aaron Judge Heritage. These are just, the Heritage cards are just beautiful cards. I love the Heritage cards. Kittle Marte, former Mariner, got traded I think Taiwan Walker for Mitch Hanniger and Gene Segura. I'd say the Diamondbacks got the better end of that deal just because of Marte. There's Mike Trout. So that's the number one card in the set. He's number one. him so that's good add him to the base set master and apprentice of Bo Bichette and Roberto Alomar I also have this one Andres Munoz he's a he's a flamethrower he hasn't pitched in like a year and a half because of Tommy John Mariners just traded for him hopefully he gets back into good health Looks like another variant of the border. Another Masters card, George Brett. Always known for his pine tar incident freak out. But he is a World Series champion. And 3,000 hits. Buster Posey, former MVP. Three-time world champion. Doesn't have long that catcher left, though. He's getting up there. He's getting up into the first base. Stockus, he's been around the block. Yeah, that's because of the double of Roberto Alomar with that Master and Apprentice card with Bo Bichette, and there he is, his Hall of Fame card. Very nice. And shit long. Three packs left, and I'm still missing an autograph. Let's see what happens. Right there, Shohei Otani. I'm sure that's not the autograph. 
Be nice though. That'd be worth something. Charlie Blackman. Pretty good Colorado Rocky. Steven Gonsalves. I haven't heard of him. Eloy Jimenez. It's the, it says right there the private gallery private issue. Not sure what that is, but it's numbered on the back. So that's made 250 of them. And we got ourselves another heritage card, Arenado. Very nice. And we got Mr. Otani. Well, I got the one autograph early and the second autograph is coming right down to the wire. Let's see who it is. And I'm going to start right off with my guy Kyle Lewis, Rookie of the Year last year for the Mariners. Always great to get a Mariner rookie card here, especially a guy who won Rookie of the Year. Sweet. Another Astros rookie. How many rookies did they have last year? Holy shit. Jeff McNeil, pretty solid hitter. I think the Mariners tried trading for him when they traded Cano and Edwin Diaz, but it didn't happen. But they got Jared Kelnick out of the deal, so it don't matter. Acuna. And this also looks like a variant on the border. Now you can see the difference in the border between the two. You can see Acuna is a little bit more reflective than this one. Oh. And there's the autograph. Lewis Thorpe. Another rookie. So two rookie autograph cards here. Why couldn't it have been Kyle Lewis, man? I would love a Kyle Lewis autograph. And again, I have no idea who Lewis Thorpe is, so I have no idea. Like Hunter Harvey, if he's contributing to Major League level yet. And last pack. It's a hell of a name, AJ Puck. Mike Yastrzemski. Either the son or the grandson of Carl. Bryce Harper. Master and apprentice of Dave Ortiz, and I believe it's Devers, yeah. Raphael Devers. Walker, Walker Bueller. Okay, so that's it for the box. So this is the two autographs I got. Two rookies back then. Lewis Thorpe and Hunter Harvey. So hopefully, hopefully they amount to something so easily. He's going to be worth something someday. There's some Masters and Apprentices. Robbie Alomar, Bo Bichette, David Ortiz, and Raphael Devers. Very nice. Kyle Lewis rookie card. I might get that sent out to get graded. Shohei Otani. If he flames out from injuries, he'll still be a legend over here just for the fact that he's showing when he's healthy that he can pitch and hit. And he can hit every day. Arnado. Heritage card. Some of my favorite cards. Mr. Blackman. 
solo player. Ravi Alvar Hall of Fame card. Masters card. Mike Trout, probably the best player in baseball. And he plays for a garbage team, so he's only made the playoffs once. Go figure. Former Mariner Kettle Marte, I wish he was still on the Mariners. As a second baseman, we could use that. Hopefully, Ty France works out. Dear Judge Heritage. Just beautiful cards. Uh, heritage. Mad Max. Big Herd Frank Thomas, and he has a pretty awesome pinball machine that was made in the 90s. That was a fun one. Tatis Jr., he'd be my pick to be MVP, win him and all MVP this year. He's also the cover athlete for the new MLB The Show game coming out in, I think, a couple weeks. A little bit after, after uh, opening day. Pete Alonzo, modern artists. Ozzy Albee's modern artists. And Donnie Baseball and Aaron Judge. Master and Apprentice. I've always been a Mattingly fan. You know I don't care for the Yankees. I always like Don Mattingly. Tatis and Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn is Mr. Padre. And the man usual. One of the greatest players to ever do it. Juan Soto. He's also got pretty good odds of winning an LMVP. He's a he's been improving every year he's played. Luis Robert, he finished second in AL Rookie of the Year voting behind Kyle Lewis. Got Jacob deGrom heritage. Jacob deGrom is pretty good when he's healthy as well. Roberto Clemente. One of the best defensive outfielders and one of the best human beings in general to ever play baseball. Career ended, unfortunately. Yeah, right at 3,000 hits on the button. Mookie Betts won the World Series last year. Former AL MVP. Bo Bichette Modern Artist, which is also labeled as a rookie card. Another Roberto Clemente card, this one a Masters. Christian Yelich. And Manny Machado. It's a 
uh, started it all with for the comeback of the Padres. And then the box insert is Javier Baez. Okay, and that's it. I got a, one more gallery box coming next week. And then after that, it's going to be a week or so before I get anything else in. So hopefully sometime next week, I'll stream more gallery cards for you. See you then.